India will be represented by 214 athletes at the Commonwealth Games in Birmingham and you are looking at the youngest athlete in the Indian contingent, Anhat Singh. She will be playing squash at the games here, her first Commonwealth Games. Uh, Anhat, thank you very much for joining us. Tell us, talk to us a little bit about the excitement. You are the junior India number one, but this perhaps is your first biggest senior tournament. Uh, it's really different but also like really exciting because I get to play with senior players from all the different sports and like get to see them around like if I meet them in the dining hall or just walking around take pictures with them talk to them so I feel like it's a totally different experience which I've been looking forward to like throughout since I started playing. Tell us uh, about this you know graduation from junior to suddenly becoming a senior overnight you were you know thrown into the big league uh it is a bit overwhelming because i feel like suddenly like in a matter of like a few months i jumped from juniors to seniors but like i said i'm really excited because i feel like you only get to play seniors after a certain age and me getting to do that at a younger age and like not many people have the option to do that mm -hmm. so i feel like that's I'm really happy about that. And you're essentially a singles player, Anhat, but you're also playing doubles here with Sunaina. How has that been going and how has it been uh, switching from singles to doubles? Uh, I feel like it's quite similar, except we're just two people and just helping you out a bit more. But we've practiced quite a bit over the past one month and I feel like we can do quite well. You know, um, a lot of people I've been talking to uh, says that she has tremendous power and her foot movement agility is what sets her apart. Um, would you say that is something that uh, will help you get closer to a medal? Because you're better than the other athletes in that. Uh, I feel like movement definitely is um, like better because I used to play badminton and yeah. that helped out a lot in my movement. But I feel like there are quite a few aspects, like power, I don't exactly have like the same amount of power that other athletes have, so there are quite a few things missing out, but I feel like I can be a close contender. And, and why did you decide to shift from uh, badminton to squash? Because squash is a more intense and a more difficult sport than badminton. Uh, I feel like squash just, you know, fit me better. I tried okay. playing a lot of different sports. Like, I was always into sports. Like, in school, outside school, I used to play sports, like, all the time. But I feel like squash is actually the sport that I had the most fun with. And I mm -hmm. felt like I'd do best at. Tell us uh, about little tips that you may be getting from your senior pros like Joshna and Deepika. They have been in the circuit for over a decade now. Um, one thing that I don't exactly do is like warming up and cooling down. So I feel like they, that's what they've been telling me throughout the whole tournament that I need to start doing that to like in the like when I'm like playing senior categories. So that's one thing I've been like told constantly. You are a class nine student at the British school. How has it been adjusting, um, you know, professional sports with your studies? Um, the teachers are very supportive, like I'm going to miss the first 20 days of school for the Commonwealth and like after this World Juniors, but the teachers have all emailed and messaged and like made sure that I'm doing fine and they'll help me catch up and make sure I understand everything. And what about your classmates? Are you, are they excited that, you know, you're a part of such a mega event? Yeah, my classmates, they're all like messaging me and like calling me and stuff and like wishing me best of luck and I feel like that's really sweet of them to do that. You know, one question that everyone, an answer that everyone perhaps would like to know, it's such a big event, it's a massive stage. All the mega athletes say that they have butterflies in stomach. But would you say because you're so young and uninhibited, those butterflies aren't there? Uh, yeah, because I feel like I don't really have anything to lose here. So even if I'm not able to play my best, it's fine because it's my first senior tournament and I'm going to like try and do better like the next tournaments. But... I'm going to try my best, of course. Realistically, what are the targets you're setting for yourself here? Um, realistically, I'm going to try and at least according to the draw I've gotten, I feel like my coaches are saying I can try and reach the quarters and semis if I mm -hmm. play my game. That's in the singles? Uh, yeah.
And what about the doubles? Doubles, I haven't really thought of that yet because it's like next week is not starting right now. I'm focusing on singles. One last question, Anath. You are also supported by the Virat Kohli Foundation, I believe. To what extent does the foundation support you and um, where do they expect to reach you in the next couple of years? Um, they're really supportive. They like help out in all the traveling and like coaching. And for the past like one year, I've been with them, and I feel like I don't think anyone really expects that much because, like I said, it's my first Commonwealth. But I mean, I'm gonna try and do my best and like make people proud. Well, that's what we are all hoping for and wishing you very best of luck. You are looking at the next big thing in Indian sports, Anhat Singh. And she's not only going to make India proud this time by appearing in her first Commonwealth Games, but also one for the future.